damn that was quick just ordered this yesterday through summit and it got here today so i'm gonna install this and then once it's in there i'll prime it while it's in there uh because i don't have a vice uh on a bench or anything to prime it there so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna install it first and then prime it put my little primer tubes up through there and and whatever so so i got this um and it's saying my wildwood brake calipers are coming tomorrow uh one of my viewers was really nice reached out to me and decided they wanted to help me out so instead of because i was just going to do the front so i was able to do a whole wild wildwood uh set up here um so i'm very very grateful uh the user is going to stay anonymous because they don't want to they don't want any attention or anything like that so but thank you again like i said very generous and when i get the brake parts or the, the calipers and everything put together you know I, i'll very very appreciate everything you've done so once again thank you very much didn't have to do that and i really appreciate it so so anyway that's where these parts are coming from so we'll get that installed get that old fluid out and replaced and here's a little tip so to take out your uh, brake fluid since we're not going to be using it we're going to be having fresh brake fluid too just stick your paper towel down in there that way you can get all that soaked out see move on to the next one this is my second go around so that paper towel I'll just soak it all up and now you have a dry reservoir So that way, when you take off the lines and everything, you don't have a big ass mess and brake fluid going everywhere because brake fluid likes to do damage to paint and all sorts of other things. So, so there's a quick tip. Get that out of the way. Okay, so we're going to start by taking the fittings off. So get your 9 sixteenths out. At least for me, it was 9 sixteenths. And I think they're... Uh, a different size for the wildwood ones because they came with adapters so anyway we loosen these up get these off there we go pops right off same with this one there we go and then 9 sixteenths these oh there we go Hold on. and one right here all right and then once that's off there should be a little rod and everything pushing in there so I'm gonna need two hands. All right, see that was real quick. This one's kind of heavy. Wonder how many pounds that weighs compared to the other one. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll weigh them before I put it on and see how much weight savings I got. Well, anyway, see that rod? So that rod is gonna go into that boot on that new one. So anyway, oh, set that down. Yeah, that's cast iron. Got a little bit, a bit of brake fluid on me. That's probably a good 10 pounds. That thing's all aluminum, so good weight savings there. I know the calipers, I'm going to save 9 pounds per caliper. So there's almost 40 pounds that I'm going to, you know, just rough math. Just round it to 10, four wheels. So roughly, you know, 36 pounds if you want to really do the, the math. But of unsprung weight there. And then probably another, oh, I don't know. Like I said, that one weighs, that one weighs quite a bit compared to the, 
to the wild wood. This one's like psh, nothing. So, all right, so now I'm gonna put the boot on, on this, and then uh, I'm gonna go buy some, some new bolts. That way it's nice and chrome looking. I don't, I don't wanna deal with those, so I want them kind of prettier. So anyway, then just make sure that rod goes in there and you're good to go. All right. Uh, one quick thing. It does come with a little rod that you can put in there, but that's for, uh, according to the instructions, it looks like it's for power steering or not power steering, pat your power brakes, which I don't have. I prefer manual brakes, to tell you the truth. Uh, especially over these old systems I've always had in my old cars always had manual brakes uh, I feel like the manual brakes have more of a a better feel than the power brakes the power brakes yes they might be easier to push uh, down and everything but they uh, you just it just doesn't feel like it has that control that I like so I've never really cared for power brakes this will never get power brakes, uh, especially once I really upgrade uh, everything, it'll be fine. So, yeah, uh, that's just my pre my preference. Like I said, some people like power brakes, so uh, that's what that little extra rod is there is for, in case you got power brakes. So, okay, okay, so we got these little bleeder tubes and all installed so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to start pumping the brakes you know get some full strokes and you want to do this for about like five minutes or so so until all the bubbles are done coming out <clears throat> uh you know and then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to leave it like this and uh until i get my brakes tomorrow I'll put a cover over it, of course, for no dirt or anything gets in there, but just a little Ziploc. And then once that's in there, uh, then I'll hook up the lines. So I'll do that last because I don't want no, I don't want to get any more air in there and lose all my fluid. So that's what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep pumping the, the brakes for about five minutes. Long strokes. Uh, for the first like three minutes and then some short strokes and go back to long strokes so forth so forth so forth so Okay, so that's how you prime it so That you can kind of see Ugh. All right So see just long pumps Long pumps Nice and slow. You don't have to do too fast. And they say short ones every once in a while. So and that's all you're doing. Getting all that air out. So once you can't see any more air bubbles, then you know you got it all primed. So uh, like I said, I don't have a workbench, but normally you'd have a workbench and you just have a screwdriver and you just keep going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So you want it as level as possible. Uh, I'm going to try and get out as mu much as I can. And then when I actually drop the car again, you know, with the calipers and everything, you know, a little bit more, then I'll give it one more good pump through before I hook up these lines. So just to get all that air out. Anyway, so I just wanted to show you what it looks like and what I'm doing. So you could do it either way. Uh, I'd just rather sit in the car and pump instead of using a screwdriver and uh, possibility of making a mess. So, and then that way, if you had a if you had a vice grip or yeah, uh, you know, a bench vice or whatever. I mean, I don't want to screw up any of the nice looking shiny chrome either. So that's why I installed it, and I'm just going to do it through the brakes. So now I just put that <clears throat> Ziploc over it just to hold for no grime or air dust or anything gets in there for for overnight since uh, the brakes will be or the calipers will be in tomorrow <clears throat> and uh, 
anyway why that's on there and then I can kind of clean up these these fittings on the end here get that grease off and everything before I put them back on so so we'll just get a little bit of sandpaper and just sand that down and I need a little more brake fluid and then hopefully tomorrow those calipers show up and I can just take everything off and be ready to go <clears throat> so once again thanks for watching me and uh, you know thank thank you for the anonymous person that helped me out acquire these uh, I'm not going to go into details about it but it was very nice of you again once again thank you you didn't have to do that so all right <clears throat>